Hey, he didn't say it. Welcome back. <laughs> back. We're uh, back. Uh, we are, this is our next to last dog of the day, right? We only have, we have two, we have two, two more. more. Okay, next to our next to the last dog. This is Milo. Milo is a, is a husky one mix. and a half month or one and a half year old oh, border husky collie. border collie mix. Um, and super sweet. And I think she's a little nervous. We might, might be smelling something from Milo here. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Milo just had a bath and she is shedding all over us, but she came right up into the room. He, he, he Milo's a he, that makes more sense. It does, it was not Milo. Yeah, I don't assign it, I don't, yeah. It's the, uh, the, the masculine form of Milo, okay. I don't so know. So Milo came, <laughs> Milo, Milo came right up here, jumped in my arms and just started uh, loving on me. So Milo's a very friendly dog, loves humans. Uh, and but great other on the than walk. That, I'm gonna let Steve talk about Milo. Well, you've already said everything. He's great on the walk. He hasn't had a lot of training. He's just very intelligent. Uh, as you can see, he's very affectionate. He's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I, you know, he was returned because he didn't get along with other dogs, but we have not experienced that. He's been great so far. He's a resident dog. Yeah, could be. Could be. <laughs> yeah, could be the other dog didn't get along with Milo yeah. because Milo yeah. hasn't proven that. Yeah. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's this really brownish red fur color. It's a unique color. So um, the light hits it, different colors, different angles, kind of like one of those really cool paint jobs on a car. Yeah, yeah, it changes color, it kind of does. It's got like a creamy caramel color to it. She'd be called Toffee. And if you can't see it on camera, if you look on the littlereddog.org at our picture of Milo, you can see he has one extremely blue eye. I guess it's white it's gray. when you look at it, gray. but in the picture it turns out really blue, it's yeah. pretty. So uh, he's a very photogenic guy, he's a very friendly guy, and he just had a bath, so he smells good, and he's covering me with hair. So, what do we think? Uh, what type of household? You know, you, you, you could probably get away with being a first-time dog owner if you're interested in this breed, uh, but you have to be ridiculously uh, active, uh, active, because he does have a lot of energy. Like all dogs, you know, he does need a strong uh, personality to take care of him and, and make him do the right thing. But Again, this breed, they need a lot of work as far as exercise. So if you're a couch potato, this is not the pupperino for you. Right. Okay, as you well, can see, any, that's it. No, if you don't have anything else? I'm what done. We'll do is we'll I'm say, done talking. We'll say, as always, if you are interested, <laughs> go to the littlereddog.org and uh, check out all the applications for volunteering, fostering, adoption, and donating. He yeah, does, he does need, need a foster. foster. If we could get this guy in a foster home, uh, that would be a huge win for us. My birthday is coming up, and my birthday wish is that someone fosters this dog. Your birthday's coming up, too. It is, too. Okay. It is, yeah. All right. I have a different so. birthday wish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and we'll have another dog here in a moment. Uh, ah, there you go. back here, Milo. All right, here we go. Do we have an Otis? <laughs>